Riders have to be always ready for a delay and to respond to a situation that could come up on the train or in a station. Thousands of cameras are also watching too. The exchange of data that is made possible by the cameras. That has been a key to building this relationship and this partnership and every day we're back and forth, minute by minute, sharing that information which is used to solve crimes. Riders are paying more attention and in some cases taking self-defense classes. The instructors say they've seen more people coming in due to something that happened while commuting. They're studying Krav Maga, an Israeli martial art. I'm looking around me, not in again, not in a hyper aware mode because then I look scared. Just want to know like what's the body language of the people moving around me. And if I feel like I can trust them, there's a good reason for me not to trust them. So move away from them. With crime numbers showing an increase, 1,000 more police officers have been added to the transit system as of February 1st. These cops are out there and highly visible, stationed at turnstiles, on mezzanines and platforms, and riding the trains. And it seems that this tremendous investment is immediately paying dividends. The NYPD transit chief says many of the suspects are repeat offenders, and the courts and lawmakers need to do their part. The NYPD doesn't sentence people. We don't indict people. We don't release people. We make the arrest, and we hand it off. So if anyone's curious what the NYPD is doing, we're making arrests at or near historic highs. The question is, why are we arresting certain people 50 times? a hundred times.